Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokender Kumar and today we are going to discuss the guidelines that are really important to uh, write the perfect abstract for your research article. I'm going to discuss all those guidelines step by step and I hope those guidelines will help you to write your own research articles abstract in a very nice and an easy way. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, please press the like button. All right, before we move on to the discussion part, I want to mention that the journals have guidelines uh, and they are really uh, detailed guidelines that you can follow to uh, construct your research article accordingly uh, because they're going to help you uh, while writing your research article and if you are deciding to submit in a particular journal so you should read those guidelines before submitting or before preparing uh, your research article. Alright, so uh, the next point is, uh, what is an abstract? Abstract is basically a short version of your full research article. Abstract has all the components that a research article has. For example, it will have a short introduction, it will have a short method, it will have a short result section as well as the discussion and significance section. So you have to be very careful while designing uh, your abstract because your abstract is going to reflect uh, your research article. So uh, the important part is you should first uh, divide your abstract into these sections. What are these sections? First section is uh, aim and second section is the main methods. Third section is the result and the fourth section could be the significance. The aim section will include the uh, scientific question that you are trying to answer. For example, if you are working in an area of infectious diseases, so that could be a particular infectious disease and you have to mention that what is uh, the important scientific question that you want to answer in your research article. It could be uh, the bacterial infection, it could be viral infection. So you have to mention that in the AIM section of your study. And then uh, if you are trying to answer that particular question with a therapy or producing some drugs, so you can mention that there is an urgent need of uh, a therapeutic compound against this infectious disease. So that could be the construct of your AIM section. Your second section, which is uh, a method section, uh, is also very important because uh, most of the researchers, they are looking for various tools and techniques that are used by other researchers to answer a specific scientific question. So if you mention uh, all the techniques that you have done in your uh, research article in the abstract section, that will help you uh, to actually reach out uh, most of the researchers in that particular uh, research area because they might be looking for all those methods and uh, they will find your paper and they will read your method section. So it is really important that you mention all the techniques and tools that you have used in your research article in the particular method section of your abstract. Then comes your result section. In the result section of the abstract, it is really important that you mention what is the key result or what are the important results that you have uh, achieved while doing the research study. So if you mention all those key results or key findings in the abstract, uh, audience is going to uh, get excited and get stimulated to read uh, your full research article. Therefore, it is really important that you should write the key results in your uh, abstract section. The next part in your abstract is the significance. So whatever results you have uh, got in your, uh, in your uh, result section or in your study, you have to mention what is the importance of that uh, result, uh, keeping in mind what, what is the research question that you want to answer. 
So it is really important because that will signify whatever you have uh, you have done in your research article, uh, and you have to be very clear on on that particular point. So you have to clearly mention what is the significance of your research study uh, in terms of your of the particular research question that you want to answer. All right. So these are the points that I wanted to uh, discuss with you guys about the abstract of a research article. So again, there are uh, four major points. One is the aim, that what is the scientific question. Second is the method section, what are the key methods that are used in the research study. Third is the result section, that what are the findings, main findings of your research study. And fourth is the significance, that uh, what is the meaning of your result and uh, how it is important to your particular scientific question. All right, everyone. So that was from my side. Thank you for watching the video. And if you like the video, press the like button. If you like my content, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support my work, I'll put the link for my Patreon website where you can support my work. Uh, from now, uh, this is uh, all from my side. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and take care.